from the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California, it's Roller Hockey International with Team Canada against Team USA. Hi there, sports fans. I'm the old redhead, Red Rush, along with Peter Davis here at the Forum tonight. And Peter, we're going to have some excitement here tonight. Wow, the tension is building here at the Forum as we get ready for the big game. And what's the difference between roller hockey and ice hockey? Well, Red, the biggest difference is that the skaters are using inline skates. The skate of choice tonight, the Bauer ZT7. All the players on the ice tonight will be playing with the ZT7. And how are they going to do their scoring? We've got a new puck that's just been used uh, by the players from RHI. It's a hollowed-out center puck with three steel bearings that the puck rides on, and that'll really slide across the concrete. We're talking speeds of 100 miles an hour with a slap shot. And we're going to have some different rules? That's right. There are some significant differences in the rules with roller hockey compared to ice. Let's take a look at them. Five players per side for roller hockey versus the six players per side with ice hockey. 12-minute quarters will determine a game versus the three 20-minute periods with ice hockey. No blue line means the play is going to be a lot faster. We have a single line. That's the center red line. The puck must be kept in motion. That means that if a player corrals the puck against the boards, the team will be assessed a penalty. A shootout will settle a tie with roller hockey. And one of the most significant rules is if you fight, hey, hasta la bye-bye, you're out of there. Hey, how about the players? Any exciting players for you? We've got some exciting players. One of the most spark players out there is from Canada. His name is Ken Constable. The 150-pound skater from Ontario, he makes his home in Cambridge, Ontario, is an electrician in the offseason. He's definitely a talent to keep an eye on. And how about the U.S. team? Well, we got a hot skater with Stéphane Didi Desjardins. He's a Golden Glove boxing champion, 5'10", 185 pounds. He currently makes his home in North Hollywood, California. When you talk about someone that's outstanding, well, we've got Luke Robitaille here from the Los Angeles Kings. And Luke, you've seen some roller hockey out on the Venice beaches. How about it? Well, it's a lot of excitement there, Red, on the beach. Uh, it certainly is fun to watch, and uh, I've been playing, too, on the beach a lot lately, and uh, there's, and I think tonight we should see a lot of excitement. You know, I think the fact that there's only four four forwards playing, it opens up the game, and we should see a lot of speed. It should be are a lot you, of fun. Are you telling me, Luke, there's not going to be any defense out there? <laughs> I don't think there'll be that much. I think these guys are, will be happy to do a show, and they'll want to score some goals. I well, hope. There you have it, fans, from Luke Robitaille. And we'll be back with some of the excitement right after this short timeout. Roller Hockey International presents Team Canada against Team USA. From the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California, this is the old redhead, along with Peter Davis with the starting lineup. Pete? Well, we've got an exciting team lining up for Team Canada. Starting off with number four is Ken Constable from Cambridge, Ontario. He's joined by number 32, Jason Underhill from New Brunswick. Joe Daly joins us from Toronto wearing number 12. And then it's over to Tim Conyard from Vancouver, British Columbia. He's their defenseman. We've also got Rob Gorman. He'll be anchoring the Nets tonight as Team Canada's goalie. And now for Team USA, Peter Davis. Well, we've got a hot lineup there for the old Stars and Stripes. And taking a look at Team USA, we're going to start things off with number 88 for Team USA, a talented guy from St. Paul, Minnesota, Jim Howe. He's one of the forwards. We've got Matt Wilgen, known as Willie, to his teammates, number 22. Paul O'Brien, one of the two defensemen representing Team USA, is joined by the team captain, number 17, Terry Shook. In the nets tonight, starting off is Don Thompson. They're all coached by John Corky Black. As a matter of fact, when you say Don Thompson, he's got a group of people here tonight rooting for him with banner and all. And Thompson and Mike O'Hara did a flip of the coin to see who was going to start in the net tonight because both of them are from local Pacific Beach and Balboa Island, California. That's right. They've had some success this year on the amateur tour, representing the Bauer Hoser team. Uh, that team took the national championships at the amateur level. Thompson lives in Pacific Beach, and his buddy Mike O'Hara is at Balboa Island. We've got John Black, the head coach for Team USA, getting prepped for tonight's action. They call him Corky on the bench, and he's been doing a great job drilling Team USA for tonight's game. And when you talk about the other coach, Chuck Cato, and Chuck Cato, quite a coach, too. Wow, do we have some experience with Chuck Cato. He lives out in the farmlands of Ontario, and a fantastic individual with a huge heritage of hockey, both on ice and roller. He's serious. He takes his players right out there and drills them hard, and I think it's all going to pay off for Team Canada. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He has some kind of drills, too. It'll be Ken Brody dropping the puck at center ice, along with Joel Mazergaard. And uh, uh, Joe, incidentally, is quite a strong enthusiast of this roller hockey. All right, here we go. And taking the puck is Terry Shook. Shook's an incredible player. He joins us from Michigan. Uh, the team voted him the captain. And whoa, you can see some of the hard-hitting action starting up already. 
a whistle has been blown. The fingers are being pointed. Jim Howe from Minnesota didn't like that call. He plays for the Dangle Hol Rock Roller Hockey League up there in Minnesota, a very large league run by Ryan Puckrider and Michael David Fromm up there in Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes. An awful lot of ice skating going on in those 10,000 lakes when they freeze over. And it looks like another face-off with number 88, Jim Howe, up against Ken Constable at the face-off circle. It's going to be a hard-hitting game, as we can see in the opening minutes of Roller Hockey International's first Willie, game. Willie Wilson gets it back to O'Brien, now bringing the puck up Terry Shook. Shook goes forward near the near board. Underhill. A little bit of high signal that they didn't call on him there. Howe Jim. can't get by his man, and now coming up with the puck is Ken Constable, and we're going to have another face-off at center ice. Why will they call it center ice? <laughs> you know, over the period of the night, Red, I know we're going to be calling it ice a lot just because this sport emulates ice hockey so much. The uh, rink is just buffed out just like a regular ice hockey rink, and the Great Western Forum has just done a fantastic job prepping the surface for tonight's game. That's too bad that Constable was caught on that one because it looked like he had a pretty good breakaway underway. Jim Howe against Ken Constable, and it goes way back in to USA's end. You know, Puck Terry Shook, Shook way back behind the screen, trying to get it around, but instead getting it is Jason Underhill and taking it away, and here comes Howe. Now it's a season. One. Red, we got some action here. Underhill hooking heavily. They're not going to call it. And right across the crease goes the puck, a backhand flip by Terry Shook. He tried a little backhand flip with the wrist, but he got a too wide pass with freeze. Well, they're sending in the hit squad right now. They're changing the lineup. You're going to see a lot of line change-ups because of the speed of this game and uh, certainly the fact that they don't have a nice surface out there to cool them off. The players are going to heat right up. We see the players taking off. Once again, we've got a full, full contact hitting league. It's going to be an exciting night tonight, Red, as we get underway with another face-off down in the Canada's territory with Team USA up against Team Canada. Aaron Goodwin is going to be facing off for USA against Rob Herzak. And it's taken care of by Canada in their own zone, but now taken away. And Herzak giving the puck away, going over to the near side to Goodwin. Goodwin giving a backhand flip right by the crease and a good cover-up by the goalie, who is Rob Gorman. Gorman's a youngster, 18 years old. He's doing a great job. He's a big, tall guy, one of the tallest uh, members of Team Canada's team. He really covers the nets pretty well. Uh, their backup goalie, who's going to be doing a great job later on as we rotate the rotate the action around here's the replay right now as we check the action team usa dishing it out a nice stop there by gorman stuff in the play there he joins us from toronto chuck cato looking pretty serious over there on the bench all right the face off is won by team canada but taken back by usa down in the corner out to the left wing here comes smith over to the right side down in the corner and getting the puck over there is mike kennedy kennedy comes around the net bringing it up now and look at Desjardins squaring off for defense position. A nice job getting the puck away. It's going to move right over to Team USA's, USA's number 55, talented player who made the cut from Minnesota when the tryout camps took place up in Minneapolis. Desjardins tried to get his shot away, and it was partially blocked. And now the ball by Desjardins. Excellent turn. Here comes the puck, and coming up with it, and a good move, and a backhand flip, a good block by the goalie Gorman. As trying to get it in there was Darren Goodwin, taken away by Team Canada again. Well, I think he's shaking out a few of the bugs. He's a big, burly guy joining us from Visalia, California. Goodwin should be a one to watch tonight. Oh, and there's Canada coming in. Unbelievable. I can't believe they didn't score on that one. Just off the post. Eschelbaum was the one that tried to get that shot away, and a good shot by him, but off the post as Peter made the comment. Now they set it up ice, and we have new line coming in. Howe comes back in, trying to flip it over. It's knocked down by Bala. Bala puts it up, and bringing the puck back on the near side is going to be Paul O'Brien. USA keeping the puck in action. O'Brien shoots with a slap shot, misses, and it goes off the skate, and again, a shot by O'Brien. Number eight has it. And now a shot being a good shot inside and flipped out by Bala. Over to the near side with the puck is Matt Wilson. And another cover up by Rob Gorman. Boy, Red, they're putting the pressure on Team Canada right now. There's action stopped on the ice. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, back to the action now. Red, we've got an exciting game underway. Well, we do, surprisingly. I thought we'd have a score by now. Now, here comes Team Canada, four on two, and a shot partially blocked in there by Terry Shook. Team Canada is still trying to control it, but here comes Team USA. 
Hal puts the puck back and bringing it up is O'Brien. O'Brien sends it up ice and Constable gets it for Canada. Canada bringing it on the near side and he is almost screamed and giving the puck is Terry Shook. Shook looking to center it but he can't do it. He's knocked into the boards and now brings it back. It comes out here to Paul O'Brien. O'Brien over to the right corner and in Constable brings it up taken by Terry Shook. Shook over here to Willie. Willie pass it in here comes let's see a backhand flip no and cover up again by gorman that is the fourth save by rob gorman an excellent goalie joining us from toronto and i tell you terry shook is just pulling his hair out right now let's go to the replay red here you see an opportunity coming over to the near side and look at the stick handling here of jim howe unfortunately wasn't able to sneak it past gorman gorman is just a wall tonight well, i tell you we've seen some outstanding goaltending all right, it's going to be Darren Goodwin as the new line has come on. Team Canada, they get the face off. Bringing the puck up is Herzig. The puck is centered, but Team USA, Herzig now with the puck, has it knocked away, and coming up with the puck this time is Kyle Finn. Team Canada, oh man, you talk about a block, and now here's a breakaway. Team USA, and he loses the puck, and Team Canada gets it. With that puck is Kyle Finn. Kyle Finn looks up ice, takes it over center ice. He centers it in a backhand flip, no good. It goes back, and here comes Team USA, but Canada gets it again. Nice stick work, and down to Herzig. Herzig takes a shot, centers it, and it's knocked away with good work by USA. But Team Canada gets it again. Thick has it and tries to center it, but to no avail. It goes behind the net. And with that puck is Ron Smith. Ron centers it to this side, and now they go with a two-on-two. -two. Darren Goodwin has the puck knocked away. Team Canada with some good stick work. Ron Smith, by the way, grew up with his twin brother skating on the lakes in Minnesota. Here we got some action now. It looks like Desjardins. Desjardins, Didi. And here comes Shook, and Shook is all shook up out on the ice. And there's a puck going behind the net and slapped away by King. Well, you know, Didi also plays a lot of roller hockey on the beaches with Luke Robitaille. And uh, Luke, his skills are definitely something to watch out there on the ice tonight. Coming from Canada, I think he, play, he grew up playing hockey, and you can really tell he's a great hockey player, and he really stick angles well. All right, Team USA again on the attack. Getting in his castle. Oh, oh, he took an elbow right to the face, and we're going to have a penalty. I tell you, Terry Shook shook him all up. <laughs> Look at this, Constable. A hard hit elbow to the face to Ken Constable from Terry Shook, and that landed Shook right in he, the penalty box. He went all the way to hit him. <laughs> That's what he wanted to do. <laughs> and I tell you, that was a little high, too, with that elbow. <laughs> he think? wasn't thinking clean. I think he wanted to get him out. He's a good player, and uh, uh, I think, but the, it's good that the referee called it, so they don't want this to be part of the game. All right, down in the U.S into the ice and here's constable constable looking trying to center it he does he centers it well and there's the shot as well, i tell you talk about a shot with a big slap and clearing it up ice here we go with ice again i tell you action's just as fast as ice and as we look down onto the rink we can see that team canada's last play there was a patent pendant yeah you can play. tell uh, the fact that they are four against three is very exciting and uh, i tell you it's a lot of fun to watch uh, to see all those just that they play four and four and we can tell so far that the play is really open it's really exciting out it goes to conyard conyard with a four on three down in the corner out over here and slapped away by team usa but conroy saves it now look at the way they've set up this is the chuck cato patent pendant play he really does a great job drilling the team in offensive maneuvers like this and let's see how it pans out now for team canada there's a nice stop by the goalie don thompson team usa trying to get it out but joe daly has a joe slap shot off on the near side underhill Gets it back to Conyard. Conyard on the right wing. A slap shot. And boy, I tell you, that went with power. Joe Daly on the far side has the puck, centers it. And a slap shot goes in. And there's the first score. Goal. What a shot. You talk about strong wrist. He showed it right there by Tim Conyard. Team Canada really moved the puck well. And they came back right in the middle. And when you're in a slot like that, if you shoot, I mean, the odds are you're going to score. And he went five all and it went in. 
the power play working out for Team Canada. And we saw earlier today Chuck Cato really drilling the team on those offensive maneuvers, and it really panned out for Team Canada. And here's a replay of the action. You'll see that Joe Daly does a good job of centering that puck. And Kanye did a good job with a tough slap shot. He's got to be pretty psyched. That's the first goal that we've ever seen scored in Roller Hockey International's history, and it was scored by Conyard. He's got to be a happy guy from Canada. And it is scored with 5.01 left in the first quarter. So after six minutes and 59 seconds of action, they finally scored. All right, USA is now at full strength. Bring up the puck on the far side and trying to center it to no avail, getting it out of there. That was John Redinger dishing it out. They call him the Swede. Well, here comes the other guy that's got a good puck handle, and that's Kennedy. Kennedy centers it. Hut strick back oh. over, and the ball, the puck is intercepted. Ball, puck, whatever. Here we go. Trying to center it this time and going down with a good move and bringing it in, and another good save by Rob. Larry Seibel tried to get that puck away, but a good save by Rob Gorman. That is his sixth save. And here we go, USA with a three-on-one. Good move, and a shot, and off it goes. It is. Pat oh. Gibbons just missed another shot. Team USA trying to keep control, but it goes out to Herzog. Herzog over center lines. Gets it over, and a shot, and up. Off of the glass, no good, as Mike Kennedy tried to flip that one up. Comes back to the right side, and with it is Ron Bala. And here comes Team USA, and they slap. They want someone else back out on the ice. Well, I tell you, it's the kind of a night they need more people on the ice. And we'll be back right after this short timeout. Cato not too pleased. You see Chuck Cato right there. You got Desjardins now on the floor. It should be interesting to see. He's got to be considered the enforcer out there. Yeah. <laughs> Over to O'Brien. Four on three. They've got a man advantage, as he does. Desjardins. And we got 3.05 left to go here in the first quarter. one nothing, Team Canada. Back it goes. And a pass down from Shook. Back it goes to Shook. Shook gets the pass off to the right wing. Left hand stick going in. Good oh. move, but we oh. have a penalty call. Interference. I think when you're four and three, you got to be patient with the puck, and that's a real bad penalty for uh, Team USA because uh, they were moving that puck well, and it looked like the, the triangle for Canada was opening, and uh, at the last second, we got interference, and uh, yeah. kills the power play. That's a terrible the shoot USA. for Team USA. They had a great opportunity, too, at that time, down in Canada's zone with the four on three and moving it to where they had all the opportunity in the world to move the puck around and now Paul O'Brien is the one that's going in to the penalty box. I think O'Brien was thinking payback time after the big hit that he took and uh, oh. landed, landed him on the penalty box. I tell you that that lumber doesn't feel too good when you go into it does it? Especially most of these guys use the aluminum stick the Bauer aluminum stick so you get hit by that it hurts. And uh, there's a slap shot and boy you talk about a good save that time by Thompson. Ooh. Team USA has it. Howe in the corner behind the net. Takes a shot from Hertzett. And it comes over to the near side. Some solid hitting here, Red. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, I wouldn't want to be out there. <laughs> Desjardins to Howe. Howe over to the right hand side to O'Brien. But hey, here comes Constable. Constable keeps the puck in play. He is knocked into the board. Desjardins. Desjardins goes into the board. And it's payback time of the half, fans. Here comes a good shot, and it goes off as it's blocked beautifully. And here comes Desjardins with the puck. He's on the move. Three on one, fakes the shot, and the puck is knocked away. Here comes Constable. Constable with a three on nothing. Constable comes down. He's in the center. Fakes, passes off, and a good stop by Don Thompson. And now here comes the breakaway. What excitement. point there for Team USA and Jim Howe is one excited guy. He's the assistant captain. He is just ripping it up. And Jim Howe says how sweet it is. Turnovers against turnovers, Red. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> I've what never seen that. <laughs> it all started because of the great stop by Don Thompson. 
and he got that puck out of there, and then they had the three-on-none breakaway, and a great stick handling by Jim Howe. Wow, when we saw him at the tryout camps in Minnesota, we were really impressed with his stick handling, and watch him make the big, deep move there. Backhands it right in, and he is one sight guy. Jim Howe, in the offseason, he spends his time teaching mentally retarded kids. Possible won the... Uh, Face off, he tries to get it centered past the crease, and a good save by the goaltender. Hit and the then he is knocked ankle over tea kittles into the goal by Joe Daly. They're mad that he's stopping all those breakaways. <laughs> With one minute six seconds left on the clock, the refs are putting the goalie cage back on the line. Interesting fact about the sport is that they've moved that cage four feet forward to allow the inline skaters a little bit more room to maneuver behind the net. And that's also because they cannot put that puck up against the board and kill the action. You cannot kill the action. Hunts the ball. Oh. And a good flip of the left wrist. And he flipped it right over. Don Thompson, I tell you, Ken Constable out of Toronto did it right there. He's got an amazing ability to get up and down the rink real fast, and he's also combined that with some great stick handling, and he saw it right there. Okay. Let's go to the replay, Red, and check it out as Ken Constable scores for Team Canada. Well, he did an outstanding job on the faceoff. Now, you'll watch him right here. Great move off the faceoff when he took control of that, that puck, and he just went in, and he, he, he knows, you know, he's a goal scorer, you just know right away that open spot up up top and he just put it up there and he's just a great hockey player we saw a nice wrist shot from constable there but i tell you he's got a cannon for a slap shot as well yeah but that was a wrist shot and a half all right 58 seconds left to go here in the first period two to one team canada leads desjardins gets it back to ron smith ron smith out it goes and here comes a two on one desjardins over and a good shot and it's all tied with 41 to go. USA moving the puck really well right there. Coming out of their zone. Two good passes and what a goal. Darren Goodwin's got to be psyched. This is a hometown crowd for Darren. He comes from Visalia, California. And number 92 ripping it up. And here, a real nice pass. The assist on it too. And man, you talk about some good maneuvering. Here's the replay. Very unselfish for him to pass the puck and great goal. Well, you talk about uh, good teamwork there and also that great fake and then just a backhand flip. Oh. Well, here we go now. Again, it, trying to get in there is... USA is psyched. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, we're seeing a lot of action. Only 26 seconds left here in the first quarter, and it's all tied at two. Well, I tell you, the crowd here at the Great Western Forum is just totally psyched. This is one excited crowd. They didn't really know what they were going to see tonight at the Forum, and boy, they are being entertained. You know, I think the key to this game is there's going to be a lot of goals. They, they missed a lot of chances, but there was a lot of scoring chances, and that's why I think the crowd is really psyched. It's really entertaining. All right, Jim Howe on the faceoff, and he wins it for Team USA. And 23 seconds left to go. Trying to center that puck was O'Brien. The shot is off. No good. Terry Shook taking the shot. Canada has it with 12 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Over on the far side, Canada has it. And a flat shot and a good save by Don Thompson. Well, you talk about a shot. <laughs> What a save by by Thompson there. I mean, it's really hard to be a goalie on those skates uh, because you don't slide as much as on the ice, and uh, really was a tremendous stop. Mike Kennedy is the one that took the shot, and Don Thompson did the great save with five seconds left to go. There's the gentleman that took that shot, and I need to tell you, he got a lot of muscle behind it, too. <laughs> Mike Kennedy really let one rip there. Five seconds left in the period. At least in the first quarter. First quarter. Two to two, the score. All right, Howe on the faceoff, taken by Team USA with two seconds left to go here, and the puck is coming up, and that's the end of the first quarter with the score. Team USA two, Canada two, and we'll be back after this commercial timeout. Really was a tremendous stop. Mike Kennedy is the one that took the shot, and Don Thompson did the great save with five seconds left to go. There's the gentleman that took that shot, and I need to tell you, he got a lot of muscle behind it, too. <laughs> Mike Kennedy really let one rip there. Five seconds left in the period. At least in the first quarter. First quarter. Two to two, the score. All right, Howe 
on the faceoff, taken by Team USA with two seconds left to go here, and the puck is coming up, and that's the end of the first quarter with the score, Team USA 2, Canada 2, and we'll be back after this commercial timeout. With it all tied up at the beginning of the second quarter, here we go, Red. Terry Shook as Team USA wins it, but giving that puck instead is Jason Underhill down in the corner, and oh, he put Matt Wilson into the boards, and now here comes Team USA with the puck. Wilson going down on the far side, tries to center instead of flip of the wrist, and a good save again by Rob Gorman. The fact that there's no lines, it just makes it such a fast game. You, you saw the, an example that they went up with the, the puck. I mean, you can see there, he got on a breakaway out from his own zone because there's no face-offs, and it's just... I mean, I, I'm amazed. <laughs> I, I know I keep saying it, but I just love watching it. It's just a lot of fun. You can tell by the crowd. And that's from Luke Robitaille. Hey, he's one of the great forwards in the game of ice hockey, and he says it's a lot of fun. So fans, come on out and see all of the exciting action. All right, here we go. And a good save that time by Terry Shook. And centered and getting that puck back comes Team Canada. The puck is loose in the corner. Going down for it is Matt. Matt sends his man into the boards, and it's... Up against the boards, but you cannot stop play on that. And here comes Ken Constable. Team Canada on the move. Constable bringing that puck up over center ice. And he has skated off of the puck, and the puck is slipped away. Paul O'Brien gets hit, and here comes Team USA. A two-on-one down the far side. Nice over pass. here to Shook. Shook loses the puck, and it's slapped away. Team Canada on the move with a three-on-two. Now it's a four-on-two. Daly with a slap shot and a good save, this time by Don Thompson again. So it's save time here at the Forum. A lot of time, Pete, these guys, they, you can tell they can't stop, and it's it's very it makes it good to see because they just come in and they just run into each other. Going to the replay now. Check this one out, Luke. Dishing it off right, and a beautiful catch in that catch pit by our goalie for Team USA, Rob Gorman's had a night of it so far. Our correction there, that was Mike O'Hara joining us from uh, Balboa Island. All right, the puck goes back, and Team Canada is into the eyes. They've changed the lines again, and boy, I tell you, they changed them quickly here. Now Team USA on the attack. Ron Smith, Smith flips it over into the corner. It's taken by Darren Goodwin. Goodwin looking to center. Over here to Desjardins. Desjardins over to the right-hand side, and a flip trying to center, and it goes across the crease. Smith. Smith comes from out behind. And the puck goes up against the net, and giving that puck is Jeff Furlong. Furlong has to take it away by Kyle Finn. And it comes up here on the near side, Tom Esteban. Esteban going down, and he is skated off of the puck by Rob Smith. Esteban gets the puck back. He tries to center it, and oh, a good save that time by the goalie. Here comes Team USA. Desjardins, a slap shot, and a good save again by the goalie. Rob Gorman has made some great saves. A backhand flip. Another save by Rob Gorman. Hey, this man is doing yeoman work here at the Forum. Gorman definitely doing a great job tonight. Joins us from Toronto. And Desjardins definitely showing the frustration. He's been working hard. He really wants to get one in in this second quarter. Let's go to the replay right now. We see that Desjardins has a little bit of trouble handling the puck right here, but check out the backhand Look at now. Next to him. Goodwin is always there. These two guys are always around the net. They're really hungry for goals. Heckle, Heckle and Jekyll in front of the net. Tell me something. This is not ice, but Luke, you tell me. You skated on ice enough, but how about it when you go down to Venice and you're skating on cement like this is? Is it tough when you fall? You don't want to fall down, especially when we play on the beach. We don't have the equipment. I'll tell you, you don't want to fall down, but even here, they, they don't slip as much. Another good save by Team USA. Esteban making the shot. All right, here we go. Trying to center. It goes right across to the near side. And Tyler loses control of it, and it goes in the corner, and Team Canada has it go back to Mike Kennedy. Mike Kennedy on the attack now, coming up center, looking over to the right side, and sends it in, but it is taken away by Team USA. Here comes a two-on-two. Red, we got a new guy out on the ice right now from Burlington, Vermont. It's Chris Corley. Chris Corley with the slap shot. I want to tell you something. He has good action with his hands, and he is tough. You talk about enforcer, Corley is. And there is a shot by John Redinger. Now here comes Team Canada on the attack. 
Red, you can hear the fans chanting Corley's name now. He's definitely a favorite with the fans here in L.A. And Chris Corley, the sole player out on the ice right now, wearing a full face cage. There he is, 160 pounds, joining us from the Green Mountain State of Vermont. Chris Corley was the third highest scorer in the history of St. Anselm's College in Division II NCAA College Hockey. All right, now <laughs> on the faceoff against Ken Constable. And there's the drop of the puck. Well, that wasn't Ken Constable. Instead, that was Steve Young who's in there. He flipped over like he looked like Constable. On the near side, Conyard, but the puck is taken away and then taken back again by Jung. And we're going to have another face-off. Well, the play has slowed down a little bit. The players are really now calming down. I think they're getting to know each other. They're closing out the game. I think the coaches must have talked to them on the not playing as wide open as they were playing the first period, Pete. Steve Jung's one of the uh, young players that we're looking at out there, Luke, and uh, joining us from uh, British Columbia. What a, what a talented field we've got here for the play tonight. He looks a little bit like Constable, the way he skates and moves. His nickname's The Hammer. I can see why. Oh! <laughs> Tim Howe a little bit of a trip there. Conyard, and uh, Conyard, a good save again by the goalie by USA. That's Joe Abbott who's in the net now. All right, it's going to be Steve Young on the faceoff against Darren Goodman. And the faceoff won by Canada. Nice handling behind the net, Red. Jason Underhill with the puck, and now Shook gets it, and it goes up to Howe. Howe on the attack. Here comes a two-on-two -two down the right-hand side, going in and trying to get the shot. Oh, sending number 22 into the uh, board. It goes back out, and Shook with the slap shot, and the puck is knocked away, and Howe behind the net goes out to the right side. Shook over here to the near side. Seven and a half minutes left in the second quarter of play here at Roller Hockey International at the Great Western Forum. Team USA and Canada all tied up at two apiece. Shook back to O'Brien. Now to come to Desjardins. Over in the right-hand corner it goes to Shook. Shook looking to center it. Back off of the board on the far side, but it's taken away by Underhill and taken away by USA. And the boards and we have a player down how sticks a foot problem. out and no call by the official no call by the official and one of the basic reasons is it was we're gonna have to relook at the rule book <laughs> oh, man i don't know i'd have to say we had two fouls and they said hey what's good for the goose is good for the gander here's shook oh shook up and gets it behind the net shook can really blaze one and he did right there unfortunately off net for Shook, but we'll see some greatness later on from the captain. Hey, a good job that time by Paul O'Brien. Paul on the near side, looking, centers it, and it is a backhand flip oh. wide of the net on the left side. He and it's set all the way up ice, and here we go. If they get it down before it goes over the red line, no, they don't. So they're going to have a face-off once again. And we'll be back right after this short timeout. Team Canada on the attack, all tied at two, 6.17 to go here in the second quarter. Team Canada on the attack, and Mike Kennedy takes the puck up. He centers the puck on the, on the near side, Kyle Finn, and it's taken away by USA in a hook shot, and not a hook shot, but a hook by the player, which is illegal, and a slap shot and another good save, and there's a shot and a goal! A shot and a good one. It was Darren Goodwin. No, I think that was Desjardins. I'm not... Well, I oh, think no, it was Darren Goodwin. Goodwin. Yeah, you're right. These guys are always around the net all the time. Sorry, Rick. That's all right. <laughs> Going to the replay right now. Check out how these two guys play together. Here's the big slapper. Now, look at the rebound now as it goes right out. A little bit of stick handling problems there, and they're there to take advantage of it. Boy, an that excellent opportunity there. That backhand flip by Darren Goodwin to make it a 3-2 score. This is the first time USA has been out in front in this contest. Desjardin Goodwin, always in front of the net, all over the puck. That's an excellent team. Hungry. An excellent twosome there. Oh, yeah. These two guys, every time they're on, on the cement, <laughs> they almost score or get a good scoring chance. Chris Corley picking up the play. Here comes Chris Corley. This guy is phenomenal, fans. Believe me. I oh, 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 but he is hit and hit hard. Joe Daly with the puck taken away. Here's Chris Fakes. Shoot. Oh, a score. A score. How sweet it is. As Chris Corley, I told you it was fabulous. He is fantastic. What control of that puck. Chris 
cold. They're going nuts. <laughs> I tell you, the Green Mountain State is dreaming right now because Corley shows some kind of action. Now watch this. He just got out of a real big Canadian Corley sandwich, and he comes out from that big hit, delays, delays, and in the net for Corley. The fans are going psycho here at the Great Western Former. Canada is really trying to play physical. They better concentrate on playing the game a little bit because USA is really taking control right now. And that made it 4-2 to two USA with 5.30 to go here in the second quarter as Corley did a job and a half. Right. You, can, you can hear the fans in the background chanting Corley again. All right, the puck is, is overstated, but getting it back there is Corley. Oh, he goes into the boards, Redinger with the puck, and goes down toward the ice, and trying to get over there to get it is Mike Donnelly. Corley trying to smother the puck, he can't do it. And here comes Team Canada. On the attack, Tim Conyard. Conyard up to Joe Daly. <laughs> Joe Daly lets his man down on the cement. How's that for saying it? Oh, hello, Nelly. <laughs> and here is Ken Constable. Constable goes in the corner. He looks to center. He can't. He brings the puck up and he flips it into the back of the net. And we're going to have... Well, one of the rules states read that you got to wear a helmet. And I think the uh, refs wanted to stop the play there to make sure that the Swede would get his helmet back on. He joins us from Stockholm, Sweden. That's John Redinger. He makes his home now in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> got to keep the helmet on. Referees mi missed a call there on the goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian let's, let's, number 32. Let's check it out now. When the helmet blows off, Redinger, bango, Daly. No he doesn't care if he's got the helmet on. He puts his head right into that guy's midriff. And where is he? <laughs> These guys are serious. Four to two, USA leading Canada. He reminds me of uh, <laughs> Chris Corley because Corley doesn't care if he's got a head on or not either. And they're going in, into the penalty box is John Redinger, 16 tall, 180 pounder out of Santa Monica, California. That is the third penalty against Team USA. They're shorthanded again. Red, this could mean some big opportunities now for Team Canada. They're up on the power play, four to three. What can the you say if, you, if you're the coach? What do you say to your player? <laughs> Bad penalty, he can't say anything. He lost his helmet. <laughs> All right, Eshabon, over to the far side, back out center. Over to Eshelbaugh on the near side, and a wrist shot, no good, and behind the goal it goes, and here comes Team USA trying to get it out, they can't, but Ron Bala falls down, and it goes over to, to Team Canada, back to Bala. Bala over on the far side, goes into the corner, he wants to center the puck, but he goes around behind the net. He looks and gets it out here to the near side to Eshelbaugh. Eshelbaugh over, and a slap shot, and it comes off the corner. And back here to Bala. Shot. Eshelbach. No good. And the puck goes all the way up on the cement over center line. And now we have a change of line. Jim Howe goes back out. Howe is with Terry Shook and with Paul O'Brien. They're killing the minutes. I think Canada's going to be looking to put Constable on, on the cement. So, oh. Trying to flip it away and covering the puck was Joe Abbott. I tell you, that Don Thompson in the nets for Team USA did a nice job stopping the play there. One of the things that the players really have to be careful of is the water that gets on the cement from sweat and from water bottles. Uh, it's deadly for the uh, inline skaters, so that's what Thompson's doing right now is mopping up a little bit of water right in front of the crease. You know what's interesting is uh, Don Thompson in that, uh, in that first quarter had 14 saves. Fantastic player, and he's playing in front of the hometown crowd. He comes from Pacific Beach, California. So the crowd's got to be appreciating his efforts in the nets. Cutting read that uh, they were all breakaways almost, or two-on-ones, and he had a couple three-on-ohs against him, so he made some great saves. Well, he really has. I tell you, there's 55 seconds left on the penalty against Team USA. And now the puck goes up, and we're going to have no icing, because one thing, they're shorthanded. And there's 327 now left in the half. Now bringing the puck up. The constable's out there right now. Yeah, Conyard down in the corner is knocked down. Joe Daly with the puck, trying to get it back, but the official's in the way. Conyard is knocked down again. And now here comes Team USA, and they're having a little uh, Donnybrook on the far side. They've got a good oh. save again by Thompson. So long Joe, there. Joe Daly is having a little fighting going on, and now here comes Team USA again, but it's Tim Canada gets it. Oh. Another save by Thompson. Save. Beautiful save there. And Jeff Perlong clears it, 
And here comes Team USA again. Good to win again. <laughs> He's getting a little chippy out there for a second, but look at the action now down in the Canadian zone. Three against one, and Darren Goodman is the one. <laughs> He's hammered by Daly, and no call. But hitting him the action is Hal. He tried to hook. There's four on four now, and there's a slap shot again, and slapped away by Don Thompson. No! Oh, there it is. Here we go with a two on one, nice. and here comes Hal. He fakes, he shoots, and he scores! Five to two, USA! With two clouds to go here in the second period. They gotta be tearing down the house up in Minnesota when they saw that one. Jim Howe with some excellent stick handling right in front of the net. Let's take a look at it now. Nice pass by Goodwin. Goes right over to Jim Howe. Jim Howe delays, delays. The goalie makes the move and bang him right into the corner of the net for Jim Howe. Number 88 is having a party tonight. And I've got to tell you, Luke, that was great, great stick control. Yeah, great stick control by Howe. And uh, what a play by Goodwin. We anticipated the play by the defenseman, cut the pass, and then made the pass to Howe. And Oh, there's some fans having fun there. <laughs> Checking out the fans. L.A. is just loving roller hockey. It seems like you couldn't turn the radio down without learning a little bit more about Roller Hockey International as we came forward to this first game. Hey, a breakaway, another save by Thompson. But getting that puck, Mike Kennedy. Kennedy trying to get it back out to Bahala. Ryan tries to center, but USA gets it. 154 left to go here in the first half. Five to two, Team USA leading. Team USA with that putt. Matt getting it over from the far side to O'Brien, and here it comes to Shook, centering it. And Al is tripped. He did a job and a half. He did the old hook with the uh, stick. Is, and the five guys now. No goalies for USA. No goalie for USA because once that puck changes hands, there'll be a penalty call. Here comes Shook. Over in the corner, and the penalty is called. They say they did not have control of it. A minute 19 left in the second quarter. We're going to be taking a break at halftime, but boy, is the action packed here at the Great Western Forum. A lot of frustration on the Canadian side. They're down by three goals. They're going to have to start with dis having some discipline. You see Ron Bahala right there making the trip, and he just stuck that out there and said, hey, you're not going anywhere. It was, a, it was a major mistake by Bala getting tangled up with the talented Jim Howe. Howe goes down hard, but Bala's right behind, taking a big digger. Right. Howe on the faceoff, and it's won by Team USA with a minute exactly left to go here in the second quarter. The shot by Desjardins, wide of the net. Down in the corner it goes, and coming up with the puck is Kyle Finn over to the near side, but Team USA gets it back, Desjardins, and it's taken back by Team Canada. And now here comes Shook, Shook over center ice. <laughs> Can't get away from ice. <laughs> Shook looking to center it. Over goes down center in the corner. Out here to the near side, and Hal looking for O'Brien. Gets it over to O'Brien. O'Brien looking, centers it, and a good shot by Shook, but it's off wide of the mark. And it goes all the way up, and there's 21 seconds left to go. And Desjardins takes it from behind the net. And now with 16 seconds left to go, Desjardins on the attack. He goes around. Oh, 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 oh. Good right movement. Over I here for Howe. Howe shoots no good and a good block by Gorman. I felt that hit come in, Red. <laughs> One second left to go. No time to score. And there is the end of halftime. And the score, it's Team USA 5 and Canada 2. And we'll be back after this short timeout. Well, welcome back to the Great Western Forum, everyone. It is Team USA 5, Team Canada 2. And joining me kind of turnabout, I get to interview the color man, Peter Davis, who's also the director of marketing for Bauer. And Peter, you've got to be happy so far tonight. Bob, what an incredible night. The people here at the Forum are seeing a great show, and Bauer's fantastically thrilled with what's going on here at the Great Western Forum. Let's talk a little bit about the safety. You have the puck in your hand, and safety's a big thing with Roller Hockey International. That's right. Well, the lightweight of the puck and certainly the uh, design that was put into this is really exciting. RHI has done a great job designing this little piece of engineering beauty. Uh, we are also real excited about the protective gear that the players are using in today's event. The Cooper protective gear, along with the Bauer inline skates, are really doing a great job out there for the goalies, the players. Lightweight, functional, and very protective. Of course, no one but Bauer would know how popular the hockey has become around the country. Tell us how the growth is. 
Well, it's unbelievable. Kent Star Sports is the worldwide leader in hockey equipment, and uh, the phenomenal growth that we've seen in the inline division is just staggering. We've uh, seen so many requests coming in for protective gear for inline skating, for hockey specifically, that we've gone whole hog into it, and we're really happy that we have. You know, let's get back to the broadcasting booth. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Joining me now is a gentleman who I've known for a while. He started the three leagues. This is his fourth, and Dennis Murphy, what makes this one so special? Well, you know, this one here is a real tough battle, but I'll tell you what, I'm so thrilled about this crowd. It's just outstanding. You know, 6,000 people to come out with a new product, a new idea. I think it's just wonderful. And I want to thank the buses for all the help that they've given us. And I hope from here on, it's up, up, and away. Speaking of up, up, and away, the growth of roller hockey is really coming around. What are your plans for next year? Well, we hope to start next year with 16 teams. We're going to really work hard to develop interest, and we've got tremendous response all over the country. So we're there. All righty. And speaking of being there, another gentleman who has really been instrumental in putting this lead together. No introduction needed. He was 13 years in the Montreal Canadiens, six Stanley Cups. He is the commissioner, Ralph Baxter. Ralph, welcome. Well, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. It's a great game tonight. Uh, I think the fans are uh, really enjoying it, and uh, we're very thrilled. We knew it was a great sport all along, but to have it confirmed by the fans here in L.A. makes me feel awful good. You had six tryout camps throughout the United States. A lot of talent out there. Looks like you'll really be able to stock the league next year. There's no question there will be uh, an abundance of hockey uh, talent for roller hockey, and uh, we're very pleased about that. We've had these camps, and what you're seeing are the best two or three at the various camps we've held, but we haven't skimmed the surface yet. We're, we still have a lot of time to look at. Commissioner Backstrom, thank you for the visit. Uh, thank you. All right, we'll be back with the start of the second half right after this. Stay with us. Hey, at halftime stats here, Team USA, 29 shots on goal, 19 saves. Team Canada, 21 shots on goal, 23 saves. And look at the penalties for Team USA. Three penalties for six minutes, and Team Canada, two penalties for four minutes. But it's 5-2 at the end of the first half, and we're ready to go with the second half. An exciting action here tonight, Peter. Well, I tell you, Red, this crowd is just definitely cheering on Team USA. we got a huge wave circling the Great Western Forum as we speak. I'm getting seasick here. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. And the face-off won by USA. Terry Shook takes it up over center eye. Shook looking, backs it up to O'Brien. O'Brien back over to Shook. Shook looking to center. Back it goes to O'Brien. O'Brien over on the left wing. Now it goes back out. He may have taken it too far out, and it goes back over center eyes, but Shook brings it up. Backhand oh, flip back to Howe. Open. Howe looking, goes in. A good work with the stick, but he can't get the puck away. Now he gets it over to Desjardins. Stefan looking. Looking and uh, fakes a slap shot over here to Shook. I don't believe he was ready for it. Desjardins with a good pass. Desjardins fakes the shot again. Centers nice it. Play. Backhand flip and a shot by Hal. No good as he tried to flip it over. The goalie, Joe Abbott. Nice movement uh, from the USA there. Well, Rob the Gorman is. Barbell. Rob Gorman is uh, back in again. And there's a shot and it's wide of the net by Desjardins. Hal takes it out. The shook, shook over here to O'Brien. O'Brien takes the shot and boom, and it's partially blocked by number 14 Young. Goes down to Desjardins to Howe. Howe looking, trying to get it back out, centering it, but it's taken over there by number 20 Ron Bala, who's out of the penalty box. Bala, slap shot, and he is knocked down on his derriere. Shook all the way around, out near center ice, but instead it is taken over there, and a good, good block by Mike Donnelly. Now here comes Shook. Shook has it knocked away by Tim Conyard. He's coming. Conyard flips it over here to the near side, and getting the puck down, slapping it down with Steve Young again. And we're going to have a face-off once again. Red, it's good to see that Mike O'Hara O'Hara from Balboa Island, California, has worked his way into the crease. Number 35 is now in the nets. Makes his home out on a uh, quite a, quite an opportunity to uh, enjoy himself out on Balboa Island. It's a well-known amusement park here in Southern California. And uh, he's also had a great season in the amateur level at the San Diego Bauer Hoser team, one of the uh, hot roller hockey teams. Some big shoes to fill up, uh, replacing Thompson there. All right, here comes Underhill as they won the faceoff. Underhill over center down, and it is taken away by John Redinger. 
John coming around the net on the near side, bringing it up, crossing over that red line, looking, looking, getting a pass one man, but the puck is slapped over into the corner and going over to get the puck at that point for Team USA, but it's taken by Canada. And here comes Constable. Constable shooting and a good save by Mike O'Hara. Talk about him, and he makes the save right away. Very nice goaltending there from Mike O'Hara. And Redinger definitely stretching it right out. He, be he better tighten up his helmet. <laughs> Taking a quick look now, we can see that number four, Ken Constable, has had a great game so far. Taking a bit of heat there as he approaches, but a nice save there by O'Hara. There's Redinger's helmet. We've got to tighten down the battens on that one. He's definitely the key player, Constable. If they want to win Canada, they're going to have to count on him on getting a few good scoring opportunities. Mike Donnelly against Ken Constable on the faceoff. And the faceoff is won by Team USA. And now going out to get that puck back. Oh, it is. And it comes back, and uh, the goalie, O'Hara, knocks it away. Here's Mike Redinger. John Redinger, I should say. And now Team Canada has a two-on-none. It is Underhill. Underhill getting it up oh. and in by Underhill on a good flip. No, it is not going <laughs> over the corner. And we're going to have a Donny Brook. Oh, the referee's going to do it. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, that was something else. As Mike Donnelly said, I'm going to put this guy back where he belongs. Well, I tell you, he's a real workhorse. Mike Donnelly has never been one minute late for any of the practices we've had for RHI. We had a practice the other morning at 6 o'clock. He was there at 5.30. This guy is a workhorse. And despite the fact that he got in a car crash on his way to one of the practices here, he still made it on time. The guy's an amazing blue-collar worker out there for RHI. He skated his way to the, to the rink. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one now, Luke, as they come in on the play. Great move by the scorer there because he made it look like he was going to pass, and he kept the puck, and... Uh, and the goalie was uh, moving fast. Well, un un Underhill did a job uh, and a half. Constable got in it, and they used the referee to throw the player over. <laughs> I, think the, I think Constable and the referee ended up getting the worst of that one. <laughs> Constable has a smile in the penalty box, however. <laughs> Underhill did a good job of putting that in the net. I tell you, he did a good move. He was patient. He made that deke and then flipped it up. But Constable says, it's time for me to go to the penalty box, too. Well, I tell you, the talent out here is phenomenal. We've got a score now of 5-3 to three with 9 minutes remaining in the third quarter nine minutes 16 seconds underhill was really patient on that goal you can tell he's a goal scorer because it was it seemed obvious that he was going to pass and i think that the goalie wanted that pass and he seemed to be going the other way and he just put it on short side it was a great goal all right 9 16 left to go here in the third quarter and we'll have the face off with ken constable out there once again against jim howe and it goes down into team canada's end of the zone and it is Rob Hertzak giving that puck. And now on the attack, Team Canada taking a shot and slapping the puck away as Michael O'Hara. And Steve Young took that puck up and faked it. Now here comes Team USA on the attack, Matt Williams. Matt Williams trying to get it back. He does it. It goes in over the crease. And the goalie, Rob Gorman, does a good job of covering up the puck. Now here we go, as Team Canada is on the attack. Kennedy, Kennedy with the puck. Chris shot goes wide of the net, and down here is Matt Wilson. Or Wilson is the way you said it. They call him Willie anyway. You know, Willie's quite a character. Uh, at the hotel during one of the tryout camps, I got to see him climb up two stories on the side of a hotel and jump off into a pool. He's a madman. Great. And some excellent defensive moves there as number 47 from the United States flicks it up out of bounds. That was Paul O'Brien coming to the rescue of our goalie, Mike O'Hara, with uh, O'Hara dropping the stick. Some excellent defensive play there. All right, we'll be back right after this short timeout. Well, just before the break, I was mentioning that the teams only had a few minutes to get together and train as a team before the puck dropped here in Los Angeles. A matter of three days for the team to gel. Checking out Chuck Cato working the Canadian team bench. There's a look at John Redinger with John Black, the U.S. team coach. Redinger from Sweden on Team USA. It's a good job from the coaches. The team seems to really play as a team together, and it's really nice to see. There's right. a nice play off the faceoff by Goodwin again from Desjardins. Is that was a skated it, and uh, here comes Todd Estemont. He centers it to Young. Estemont gets it back, and to Kennedy, he's uh, behind on the near side. 
And Eselmach coming up with that puck. Brings it back and tries to center it. And Kennedy has a, he overskates it. And now it comes across and comes back here to the near side to Hertzak. Kennedy, he's uh, caught in the corner and bringing the puck out is Darren Goodman. Over to the far side as Team USA is on the attack with the puck, Ron Smith to Desjardins. But it's taken away by Team Canada. Now Team Canada on the attack with 7.29 to go here in the third quarter. Kennedy, Kennedy trying to get the puck down on the near side. But Rob Hersa cannot get the puck. And now here comes Team USA. Darren Goodwin has it taken away. But Desjardins is knocked on his hello neighbors. I don't think he saw Kennedy come in. What a hit by Kennedy. There's another good one, and there's another cross block. Tom Escobar gives a job, and a half of the puck is behind the net. Now it comes around here, and this is going to be Chris Corley. Here comes Corley, I told you. He was something else. He's got the puck. He centers it, but it's slapped away by Rob Gorman. Corley behind the net. He has the puck. It's slapped away from him. Kennedy bringing the puck for Team Canada now goes behind the net. He wants to look up and see what he can do about getting that puck up eyes. Kennedy. It seems like the surface is getting a little bit more slippery. I don't know if it's getting wet or something. Maybe the humidity, but the guy seems to be slipping a little bit more. A good stop by Michael O'Hara. You talk about wrist shot. These guys have got some kind of strength. One of the guys who can really unleash a cannon is Chris Corley from Burlington, Vermont. He can really let one fly. Checking out the action right now. Team Canada bringing it up the ice. Kennedy looking for an open man here and decides to go for the wrist shot. Takes a big hit. Good quick wrist shot. It's really hard for the goalie to stop these type of shots. All right, back here to Kanye, but it's knocked away. And who's on the job? Chris Corley. He has it slapped away from him. He had lost a little balance, but USA keeps it in. And now Team Canada has it. Oh, and up. Eyes comes Mike King. Mike King checked into the boards. And who did it? John Rettinger. They're going on Corley, Red. That's your guy. <laughs> Team <Larry Canada. laughs> All right, now Team Canada with a three on one. Here is Constable. He shoots, and it goes off over to the corner to Tim Conyard. Tim Conyard almost goes into the wood, but getting that pill is Larry Strangler. Now it comes up, and Mike King. Now that is uh, Jason Underhill to Ken Constable. Ken Constable comes up over center ice, trying to drop it back. He does, and getting it is Joe Daly. Daly goes into the wood, but not that hard. The puck taken, and here comes Team USA. Jim Howe tries to get it back, but instead, Team Canada has it. And uh, Terry Shook shakes him up a bit. Here comes Constable. He tries to center, slapped away by O'Hara, but Constable gets it back. He's over the corner, has it taken away from him, and the puck is centered. And it is taken away by Team Canada. Kennedy passes over, and a shot by Joe Daly was no good. Comes over to the corner. Constable, and now falling on the puck was the goalie, Mike O'Hara. 4.54 left in the third quarter as we see Team USA with five and Canada with three points on the board. Game really tightening up, Pete. I tell you, uh, now we don't see as many breakaways and two-on-ones as before. I think the coach might have much to add a little speech with their players in the between in the, first, in the, in the half. I mean, not used to these half things now. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Brody ready to uh, drop the puck. And he'll be dropping it to Steve Young, who's out of Vancouver, British Columbia. And for Team USA, Darren Goodwin. And it's controlled by Team USA, Terry Shook out of Detroit, Michigan. He is the captain. And now we're going to have a face-off again because the net is knocked out of its mooring. You can see that the players, to a man just about, are, have removed their brakes. Most of these guys turn really fast. Uh, that's the way they break most of the time. They really make a quick turn and they, they use the wheels just to, to break, kind of half break, half turn type of deal. Still getting the puck, but it's taken back by Team Canada. The shot no good. And shooting that was uh, Steve Young. And now here comes Team USA. And trying to center it was Shook, but uh, he overshot Matt. Now Team Canada with the puck in their own zone. And they start on the attack. Over on the far side, 
Kennedy. He fakes, he digs, but he has the puck taken away, and here comes the breakaway. The two on one. And the shot by O'Brien, not or, yeah, it is O'Brien. The call could not get that shot good enough to come close to the net. And now here they go with Todd Eschelbach over to the far side, trying to center the puck, and it's taken away by Shook. Shook centers the puck, and it's knocked down beautifully on the near side by Matt. Matt centers it, and here comes Shook, and he just misses on the right side. Great position by Shook there, coming late in the play. Got to be frustrating for the Team USA captain. He had a perfect opportunity there. We'll, we'll see Shook score by the time the game's over, I guarantee it. And there is a shot by Paul O'Brien, and it is fine. They actually went over the net. Team USA keeps it. You know, now they go back to their own zone, and Powell brings it over, and there's going to be a face-off because he shot it over the red line. That face-off will have Ken Constable doing the face-off against Jim Howe of Team USA. And he is some kind of tired. And you can see him leaning over as he comes back toward the fence. Five to three. 321 to go. And here's the shot of Matt. There's Willie. And uh, he's a big burly guy. 6'1", 180. Joins us from Livonia, Michigan. He makes his home. He showed up at the Detroit tryout camp. A lot of Canadians showed up at that camp as well because they were able to cross the border pretty easily. And uh, what a great game he's been having. There's some big guys on, the, on both teams. The score, Team USA 5, Team Canada 3 in the third quarter with 321 remaining in the third quarter. All right, we're going to have a face-off, and that face-off will have Ken Constable doing the face-off against Jim Howe of Team USA. And it's pushed down into the corner, and Howe goes down in the corner to get it around the far side, and Team USA with the throw over to the near side. Constable. Furlong. Constable. Oh, Furlong is not... Knocked down, and Team Canada comes up with the puck. It is Ken Constable. Boy, these guys are putting a little muscle into their work. Five to three, Team USA leading. They're really using their body. <laughs> now it comes up here to Howe. Howe centers it, but he centers it right to Constable. Team Canada. They lay shoots and a good flip of the wrist by the goaltender, Michael Harris. Team Canada has the puck, but Joe Daly can't uh, get it to his teammates as it goes back over center ice. And it is flipped with the wrist backhand to Constable. Constable brings it up over the red line. And he shoots and a good save. And here comes Joe. And Joe Daly cannot get the puck past the goaltender. Some good work by Mike O'Hara, who is out of Balboa Island, California. There's 2.20 left to go, 5-3. to three. Team USA leading on the attack. Steve Young over on the right side looking to center, and he tried to flip it in. He couldn't. He centers it. And the shot in the backhand flip, and it is wide. Nice move by Young there. He was really patient with the...